what's up guys this is the IT Ranger and today will be well welcome to your 13th Java tutorial and welcome welcome you guys uh, we're, we're getting along pretty far here so welcome and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial so a few things that I want to talk to you guys about so um, first thing uh, my page well, my channel um, the IT Ranger will be having some big changes coming in the future and I just want you guys just to, you know, if, if you're watching my video, subscribe, uh, leave comments and things like that. So, you know, just to, you know, be part of the community. I'll really appreciate it and it'll help you. Trust me, in the future, it will definitely help you. So, because I'll have a, a bunch of tutorials coming out on Android, Java, uh, how to build a computer, um, uh, building web servers. I'll, I'll have so much uh, tutorials coming out soon. It's just that. You know having time to do them all so yeah um just subscribe though and and you'll be and you'll be fine and leave comments feedbacks you know just leave whatever you know just saying hey it ranger you're awesome or hey it ranger uh you're you're just great you know whatever it is just leave feedback i will definitely definitely appreciate it and yeah just let you guys know all my subscribers you all guys are awesome and i thank you guys for subscribing and being part of my community so, but anyway, back to Java. So today we're gonna to be talking about um, something important. We're gonna talk about if and if else statements. And what an if statement is, if statement basically tests is a line of code that tests if a condition is true, and it does something if the statement is true. And that's basically what the if else statement is. And we have a if else statement. And what the if else statement does is, if a condition is true, then it will actually, if a condition is true, it would do something or something that you tell it to do, a job to do. And and else, if a condition is false, then it would do something that we tell it to do. So right now we're gonna make a, a new uh, project and we're gonna be we're gonna practice a little bit with doing if else statements. And I'm gonna show you guys how to implement that in your program. So let's do if let's call up a project if else. Finish. And next thing, let's go ahead and make a new class for this project. And any day now, there we go. So um, we're gonna make a new class. So let's right click and let's call this class. Let's just say if else, if else will work. And let's check public static void, uncheck marriage tag. Here the abstract method and finish. So here we go, our bare bone program, and let's go ahead and do the first thing. So today what we wanna do is we wanna make a program that tests if a guy's age is over 13, and if his age is over 13, then he will be allowed into our website. So yeah, it's kinda of corny, but hey, it works to get the concept of if or else statements. So let's do, uh, first thing, we need to do a variable. So any, any program that you're gonna be having something equal something or having a string equal number, you always need your variables. So the first thing we need to do is we're gonna have uh, int and age is gonna equal 13 and let's end that. And then we're gonna have a, well actually, that's actually the only variable we need. Well, let's do int and older. And older is gonna equal, let's just do int older. So um, now what we need to do is, let's go ahead and do scanner. Let's import our uh, scanner because we're gonna be taking uh, import or input from the user. Let's go ahead and util and scanner. So let's go ahead and import our scanner right there. And the first thing we need to do is we need to call our scanner into the program. So let's do scanner reader equals new scanner and system dot in. Let's end that. All right, so we just imported our scanner and we just instantiated our age variable and our older variable. So now we need to do is go ahead and write our first uh, line of code and it's going to be system dot out dot print and we're going to say 
enter your age. So we're going to ask the user to enter their age. And don't forget your uh, courtesy or a uh, and forget your uh, quotation around uh, enter your age. And make sure you leave a space between the uh, colon and the quotation. So now we, we just ask the user enter their age. And we're going to have that age uh, to be stored in older. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, reader was to age older equals well actually you know what we can just actually get rid of this and we're going to make older equal 13 because we want the age to equal whatever the user's age is so let's leave the age and let's leave the age and then we're going to have the older equal to 13 so it makes you change the older equal to 13 and change the age to just integer age so now i'm going to do age equals reader dot next int next int and there so now we need to do is we need to have our if import our if else statement and so let's go ahead and import it now and to do that we just do if and then uh parentheses and inside these parentheses is where you will put your condition and for this program we need the condition to be if the age is older than 13, then the user is allowed in. If not, then say you are not allowed into the site. So now our condition right here is gonna be age is greater than, and you just use the greater than sign, greater than less than sign. And we're gonna have the big, the open mouth to the age because it's gonna be greater. So if the age is greater than older, and let's put a little uh, bright uh, brace right there, we gotta make a brace to end it and let's see if the age is <clears throat> so we're gonna say if the age is older and actually yeah we can use that brace so um well actually no we can get rid of the brace let's get rid of the brace for now so um now we're gonna do if the age is greater than older then it's gonna say system dot out dot print line you are are allowed all right so if if this if the age is older if the age is older than um older which is 13 the ages we set it to 13 is older then the system what the java program would tell the, the kid or whoever it is you are allowed and we need to have our else statement and the else is going to be else and let's put our condition and so elf is age is less than actually the easier way let's just do it the easy way we only need to have a condition for our else for our else what we're just going to do is we're just going to have it whatever even if it is less then it's just going to automatically go to this else and it's going to do what the else says so let's do system dot out dot print line you are not allowed due to age age requirement all right so we just told the user um you if your age is greater than 13 you are allowed and then we said elf if it is false if his if his age is not older than 13 then you are not allowed due to age requirement so now let's go ahead and um, run our program and let's see what happens. All right, so here we go. So it says enter your age and let's go ahead and enter uh, 15. Well, let's enter 18. 18. And look, check it out. It says you are allowed. Yeah, <laughs> we're allowed into the website. So we're 18, and since we're 18, we're greater than 13, which is older variable, which is 13. So the site actually allowed us in. You are allowed. Whoop de doo. So now let's test out if statement. Let's see about else. Well, excuse me. Let's test out else statement, and let's see how let's see how that works. So let's run it. Go ahead, click run and run it, and it says enter your age. And this time we're just going to do, let's do uh, 10. Well, let's do five. We're five years old. 
Whoa, there it is. So five, it says you are not allowed due to age requirement. Wow, awesome. Awesome. So there we go. We just tested our if else statement program, and you see there our age is less than five, less than 13, which is five, which is less than 13. And the else statement told us, hey, you are not allowed due to age requirement. So hey, maybe come back when you're older and you'll be let in. <laughs> so um, there we go, guys. So we just learned the basics on uh, if and else statements. And basically what it, what an else statement is, an else statement is basically without the else, the, uh, else statement. So let's just erase the else statement. All right, let's just run the program. So um, let's go ahead and do five again. Let's see what happens. And there you go. As you see there, when you enter five, nothing happened because there's no false. So it doesn't test if the condition is false. The if only states if the condition is true. So let's go ahead and put uh, 18. Let's run our program again. Let's run it again. And let's enter 18 again. And there it is. It says you are allowed. So that's what the if statement does. The if statement by itself only tests for the condition to be true. And it doesn't test for false. It doesn't have your output for false, which is kind of sucks. But sometimes in programs, you won't always need the else part. You only need the true. So um, there you go, guys. That's your 13th job tutorial, if else statements. And um, don't forget to subscribe and leave comments, feedback, anything like that. And I'll catch you guys next time.